So a great tow, uh, got me up to 3,700, so cloud base is about four. And uh, I'm just gonna try and track over to this cloud street that's going all the way here with the other side of the range. Um, see if I can connect with it and um, maybe fly upwind to uh, the range over on the right there. Uh, two knot thermal. Just take this to get a bit closer to Cloud Base. Airfield's just over there on the right. Oh, it's I'm saying it's four knots, but I think it's. So I managed to push into wind. Uh, I'm up at uh, 5,600, uh, just on the cloud base, heading uh, along the Maryvale Valley. I'm just at the beginning of it now. Um, I'll just follow this street as uh, just to the edge of. Uh, the airspace for Ambly and then I'll turn and um, head to uh, Pittsworth. Um, this Cloud Street, I look behind me and it's just superb. So, uh, yeah, I uh, will be turning uh, in a few minutes, heading to Pittsworth. Cracking looking Cloud Street here ahead. And um, it's going due west. You can see the bushfire, that's uh, Mill Marin, or south of Mill Marin. Uh, heard it on the radio this morning, it's been burning since 7 o'clock last night. 45 hectares of uh, forest has uh, gone up in flames. And, um, yeah, so let's see how we get on. I might switch over to that cloud street to the left there and um, see if I can get close to the fire. It just depends on uh, where it is exactly. If it's too deep in the forest, then uh, I'll uh, give it a miss. But uh, I'm just going to take this thermal. Ooh. So, six knots, seven knots. Wind is 16 knots from the east southeast. Um, so that's setting up the cloud streets perfectly. There's a view back uh, towards the range, and south that way is uh, Warwick. Clouds are looking beautiful. It's great this time of year flying. It's uh, in some ways, I think. Autumn's one of the best seasons. It's just so mild and conditions is perfect. It uh, makes for nice flying, very comfortable. Not hot and sticky like it is in the summer. Uh, five knots. Uh, so just coming up to uh, Milmera now and uh, follow this cloud street um, all the way along and there's the bushfire there burning in the distance uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to bother to go and uh, look at any closer i don't think it's worth it it's uh, it's not exactly where I thought it was because the radio report said south of Milmarin and that's more uh, west-southwest. It's pretty cold uh, wind uh, up here. Uh, it's uh, 6,500 feet and it's 7 degrees. So uh, pretty fresh. That makes for great flying conditions and uh, uh, just the old go to the edge of the scrub here and then turn to go to uh, Milmarin uh, Milmarin to uh, Darling Downs Soaring Club
which is uh, 58 kilometers to the north, which is that way. Yeah, so all in all, a pretty good day. So lots going wrong here. My uh, LX9000 shut down on me, so that sort of cut off the Vario for a while. And um, so I switched to my Kobo, and I had to use the Vario for that for a little while. And uh, then use the motor because I got down. Uh, I'm actually still not a, a high I'd like to be. Um, just crawling up in this uh, three knot thermal I've got now, and uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> uh, there. You go. Your technology can sometimes let you down. I'll uh, have to do something about this LX uh, 9000 because it's done this to me. Uh, two times already so I think I'm gonna have to send it back to the factory and get it to uh, re uh, recalibrated because it's uh, not good but anyway I uh, used the fuzz when I needed it and uh, didn't let me down and now I just need to get out of this little hole I'm in at the moment get back up again and uh, continue where I left off. Uh, looking at the Alex now, it seems to have kept the times and uh, all that sort of data, so that's hopefully not too bad then. So we'll see how we, uh, we get on when we download the track. And uh, A bit of a blue hole I got into, but there you go. It uh, just goes to show it just makes uh, you have to make one mistake and then uh, cost you dearly. And that, that was my mistake uh, leaving Mill Marin and uh, thinking I had uh, a good track, but the, the track I took is through this sort of blue hole here, which is closed up a bit now. But uh, yeah, less than learned there. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on to uh, Darling Downs Club at the moment. I'll just decide what I want to do once I get uh, back to a nice safe height. So just going through 4,000 now. Uh, 3,000 for AGL. So I turned uh, short of Darling Downs Club, about 20k short. Uh, didn't see many point pushing on because it was getting bluer there was a big blue hole there and I've already been through one of them know what that's like um, so yeah now I'm just to the north of uh, Pittsworth uh, about 20k to the north and then um, just taking this climb uh, it's taking me through four and a half now uh, day seems to be yeah, so I think it's going to be an early shutdown. Uh, certainly feels that way. It's getting a lot softer. Uh, still beautiful looking clouds around. It's just getting to them. Uh, it's quite a glide through the sink. Um, just on this uh, this cloud here. And my uh, LX9000 seems to have calmed down now. It had a hissy fit and uh, died on me. It's now back operating again, which is a relief. And uh, heard Ron on the radio give a call saying he was heading back. Um, they'd uh, had a big uh, jump on me, I never got to get close to him, so uh, I spent the uh, afternoon testing their Vario. A new uh, Borgelt uh, project. And um, now, what to do? I think I'm going to head to that square looking cloud there. And um, let's 
across a bit of a blue hole, but uh, I think it's worth it. I've got Blyde into Pittsworth. So. Yeah, I'll catch you later on. The north of Pittsworth, northwest, and uh, yeah, just managed to eke into this really nice thermal which developed down low and um, here's the solar farm here, Pittsworth solar farm and it's just developed into a four to five knot thermal and this is going to be enough to get me home I think um, I'm still 65 kilometers out so um, probably need another thousand fifteen hundred feet um, which I might get. Let's see how this. Um, oh, I'm uh, looking south. It's starting to go greyish, and uh, clouds are breaking up. Uh, so I think it's uh, definitely time to call it a day. Use this as much as I can to get. Okay. Yeah, that's going into six knots now. There's Toowoomba on the distance. Uh, the range. Yeah, so this time of day it's in autumn. You've got to really be uh, on your toes and think about where you are uh, relative to uh, getting back because uh, it's uh, th the days tend to shut down quite quickly literally within 15 20 minutes and then it's over uh, yeah so uh, wind is easterly 11 knots that's okay and I think the wind has dropped a bit, which is good. Uh, so next report will be a bit closer to Warwick. So I've got uh, 50 kilometres to run back to Warwick, which is just on my uh, head right. And I'm just going to head via cliff and there's this nice cloud here, big nice fat and juicy, great bottom, so it should be working. Um, yeah, between the streets, what's well, left of the streets, it's a uh, pretty heavy sink, four knots down. Uh, but that's coupled with the street in itself, which is pretty good. Uh, I've had four or five knot climbs. Uh, on the cloud street so it's, um, did have a glider with me at Pittsworth for uh, five minutes didn't recognize it uh, so I think it was a Darling Downs uh, glider venturing uh, down this way Yeah, so the, I think the day's probably got another uh, half an hour maybe, and then uh, that'll be it. So, uh, yeah, good idea to start getting closer to the airfield. I think it's uh, time to call it a day. So it's blued out to the west there. Been watching the uh, bushfire, hasn't develop that much uh, further. I was thinking with this wind it'll probably uh, kick it off. So, hello. Edge of the cloud here. I think I'll take this. It's looking like a five nutter. Oh, and I'll keep, might just push on actually. Get to the middle part of the cloud. Quite nice looking fat cloud. Over there, that's uh, 
near where the airfield is. So uh, that's an alternative. If this one uh, doesn't work that well, I can track a bit further to the right and pick that one up. So I haven't quite got glide, so I uh, decided to run the fares. Perfect situation for running the fares. Um, the day died, like I said it would, uh, within 15-20 min minutes. And uh, now I just have to motor back. So, just about got glide straight in. Um, according to the fares unit, I've got 40 minutes still of power, which is pretty good. I've been running it for 10 minutes already. Um, yeah, so this big blue hole here, there's no way you can cross that without using a motor. So I'll just probably crank it up a little bit to get a bit more height. Yeah, I just put it up to 6 kilowatts now. Give me a slight climb. The air isn't too bad, it's nice and smooth, so uh, I'm gonna give her a radio call saying I'm coming in. So this is the first time I've used the motor to uh, motor all the way back past from uh, Clifton. Um, according to the fares, I've still got 26 minutes of uh, battery left. I'm using five kilowatts at the moment, so just uh, just over horizontal uh, flight. And I'll do a straight in approach uh, on 09 uh, grass right. So it's really proved it's worth the fares. Here I'm going past Pony Mountain. Um, so I'll be switching off the fez in a, in a minute or two. In fact, I might switch it off now. There we go. And yeah, I'll just do a straight in approach. I think I've got. Uh, 500 foot to go still. Um, yeah, it's a uh, little bit marginal, so I might just uh, use the touch of the motor still. Yeah, it's the same, I've got 500 on the circuit. <laughs> volt still uh, when it says no high current below 95 so I'm taking high current means anything above uh, 4 kilowatts still 25 minutes on the motor yeah this feels a safe height so I'll uh, I'll switch it off Okay, and I'll get myself ready for landing and uh, report on the ground. Landed here, walk back to my car and tow it back to the hangar. No one else around. And there was certainly no one else in the air from uh, Warwick. They all, all landed early. There wasn't much activity today, so let's switch off the Sky Echo. Yeah, good day. Quite happy.